So you know how I've said before that everything is for sale in the car business? Well, stick around and find out why. So I think we can automatically derive that at this point in time, it is not Dale. And even though the old Mopar has been sitting here in disarray with the seats out of it and the carburetor stolen off of it and covered in dust, it's not the old Mopar either. And the most popular vehicle on my channel and my daily driver and currently my wife's daily driver is old grandma here. So it ain't grandma. So what car did I sell off the channel? We'll be right back. So we've made it out to the shop and well, while we're out here, it's best that we probably give you a little bit of an update and yeah, we've sold a few things from out here as well. So even during this quarantine time, we have managed to sell a couple of vehicles. And the reason for that is, is we've had some customers of ours come in who have written off their car. So having said that, they need a new one. A couple of the reasons why a customer would come back to the originating dealer is one, well, we would hope that we gave them good enough service that they would come back and want to do business with us again. Number two is one of them had what's called gap insurance, which means when they wrote their vehicle off, they had an insurance that paid off their loan and gave them a credit to come back here as well. And two, they had a Dodge Journey and they loved it. They saw that we had a Dodge Journey and they wanted that one. So yes, the red Dodge Journey 2012 RT all-wheel drive fully loaded the one that has been sitting here since March of 2019 is finally sold and to customers who are very very happy with it but that's not the vehicle we sold that I mentioned to you about we've had another customer come in yesterday who had written off his 2013 Ford Fiesta and he likes his Fords and wanted to come in and he gave us a down payment on the 2015 Ford Escape. And he's the type of customer that came in, had all of his service work done here, his oil changes, his tires, any little repairs that may have gone wrong with the car. Hopefully he'll be back sometime today and we'll do up the paperwork on this car and get that one sold. But that's not the car that we sold that I was talking to you about. Now even though, like I said, every vehicle is for sale when you're in the car business, at some point in time, Dale probably will come up for sale. Maybe even grandma. But I can't see myself ever selling the Chrysler Cordoba simply because, well, I've had it for 25 years. What's 25 more, right? It's a part of the family, just like my son, Junior. The car in question, the one that I'm selling that is part of the channel was meant to be a bigger part of the channel than what it actually was. And you guys have probably guessed it by now. And Trucker Dave, I know you've been asking about it, 
Not sure why you have this obsession with this car. Maybe you like it. Maybe you should marry it. The car in question is the Grey Goose. Uh, we bought this car back in the uh, fall. We took it on trade and right about the time that we blew up Project Bubbles. And this was kind of meant to be the next Bubbles project. I went on it and I did brakes all the way around. We did ball joints. We did a couple tie rods. We did the tires all the way around. The option was that we were going to lift this and at some point maybe even turn it into a pickup truck. Well, unfortunately that's not gonna happen. A good friend of my son, Junior, uh, was in need of a vehicle, uh, didn't have a whole lot of money to spend, and I offered to sell him the Grey Goose for a really, really good deal. Now, you gotta remember, this car needed a lot of work to get it on the road, I did that. It needed to be inspected so that it could go on the road. Well, we did that. One thing that we found about this car is that every single option works on the car. The sunroof, the air conditioning, the heated seats, the cruise control, and we've even got the check engine light off on this car. So unfortunately guys, the Grey Goose will be leaving uh, the channel, uh, but in these times with uh, quarantine in effect, even though we're taking our precautions here at the shop, You've got to sell what you can sell when you can sell it. If there's a buyer, you can't say no. You've got to do what you got to do. After all, cars are the bread and butter of our business. Now, I did an update quite a while ago on the car lot, and it was a little bit kind of doom and gloom, and you guys give me all the best, the best wishes, and I appreciate that. But just to give you a little bit of an update, the Canadian government has come up with a some sort of a uh, incentive program to get your employees back to work. And what it does is it's going to pay me back 75% of all my employees' wages uh, for at least three months. And uh, we'll see how that goes after the after that term is. But we've been able to hire my mechanic, Tim, back uh, he started on Monday and uh, you know this program is going to help us come ahead a little bit because we couldn't afford to keep Tim here and uh, with the lack of business that we had. Car sales were doing a little bit, nothing major. Uh, the, the Dodge Journey that we sold was the first vehicle we sold in 39 days. That's a tough pill to swallow when you're in the car business and cars are, like I said, your bread and butter. Uh, but then we've got the Ford Escape going out uh, today, hopefully. We've also got the Grey Goose going out in the next day or two. So things are looking up on the car sales side. Uh, the shop is staying a little bit busier. We've got Tim back. Uh, hopefully, if things continue to be as busy as they are, we will get Bill, my car sales guy, uh, back as well. But until we see the fruits of, of our labors and of the labors of the provincial and uh, federal government, um, we, we want to make sure that we're doing the right thing. This was a huge eye-opener for us. You know, we've had to cut expenses. We had to do a lot of different things to keep this business afloat because otherwise the only alternative was to shut the doors down. So uh, things are doing a little bit better. Uh, in the province of New Brunswick, we're about 700,000 plus uh, in population. And the other day we were declared uh, zero cases of uh, COVID-19. Uh, we were also declared everybody that was in the hospital had been discharged and things were looking good until yes after 16 or 17 or 18 days i forget what it was of zero cases zero new cases i should say uh, we now are at one but it's bound to happen and i'm sure there'll be more uh, but the province has things in place to get us up and running very very soon guys will be camping before you know it so that is so that is a little bit of an update here at the car lot. Uh, you found out which vehicle we're going to sell off the channel, but don't worry, there will be a beater. Don't forget, the PT Cruiser will be coming to the channel to get blown up once we hit 5,000 subscribers. And guys, we're almost there. I just crested 3,400 this week. So if you uh, want to share my channel out with your friends who you know are car guys, uh, make sure that they know what's going on. Yes, we're going to blow up a PT Cruiser with Tannerite. Uh, don't forget the Bumper to Bumper Challenge is also on right now where we're trying to help my buddy Kip from America Bumper to Bumper 
uh, get to 1,000 subscribers. And what we're doing is we're getting you guys to record every vehicle you've ever owned, hopefully with pictures, and uh, share it with the world. And we'll make sure that uh, all the rules are in the description box below so you guys can follow along and help support us as well as Kip from America Bumper to Bumper. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again in the next video.